Hi, I'm Wanda from Melinda Craft and today I'm going to show you how to make these cute and cuddly baby blankets. Now I've made mine from two pieces of flannel so you can see I've got the, the pendants on the front and flannel on the back and the other one I've made using flannel on the front and minky on the back. So they're cute and cuddly and let's get on and show you how to make them. So what you need are two pieces of fabric measuring 42 inches by 42 inches. Now I'm going to be using flannel for this baby blanket. Um, it'll be nice and snug and looks really nice. There's some pretty flannels available. But you can also use minky. Now I've done that in this one I've made previously. I have flannel on the top, as you can see here. But on the back I have minky fabric. Now if you're a beginner using minky for the first time, just be aware that it is very stretchy and it also can slip when you're sewing it. So, it might pay for the first time if you just use the flannel. Alright, so now I'm going to lay my two pieces of fabric right sides together. So I have one facing upwards and then the other right side facing towards it. And just line the edges up. Now what I like to do is I take the ends and I just like to pop a pin in there. And I do the other end, exactly the same. And then just pull it out like that so that it lines up nicely. It generally lines up nicely if you take a bit of time. Okay, so then I'm going to pin all the way around. But I'm going to leave an opening of about 6 inches at one side so that I can turn the blanket through. So I'm going to sew all the way around with a half inch seam. Normally we use a quarter inch, but in this case I'm going to use a half inch. Okay, so I've sewn around the edge with a half inch seam and I've... On either side of where I've left the opening, I've done a back stitch at the beginning, and then when I've got back to the other side, I've done a little back stitch there as well. So, first of all, check it through. So you can turn your, your quilt through just to check that everything's been caught up, but I know that that's happened here, everything's fine. So what I'm going to do now is just clip the corners. So what you do here is you take your scissors and clip across the corner. Now you can see here that I've actually sewn off each, the end and then restarted on the other side and come down and that leaves me that nice little square there where I can just clip. Alright, so making sure that you don't cut the stitching on your seam line, just cut that corner off and I also like to trim off some of this bulk so I sort of start a little way back and slope in just like that and I do that on either side. Doesn't have to be perfect or anything else. It just reduces that bulk on the edge. I'm going to do that with the other three corners as well and then we'll turn the quilt through. Okay, so I've clipped all the corners and now it's time to turn our quilt through. So I just open the opening, reach my hand in and just grab the far corner and pull it through. Go over to the other corner and do the same thing. We'll just keep doing that until we get this through. I've left a bigger opening just so that this doesn't take too long to come through on camera you don't have to leave too big an opening five to six inches is fine okay we just pull it through keep going work it through all right we're up to our top corners now so they can come through as well there we go let's push them out a bit okay isn't that lovely i do love this panda fabric i think it's really cute there we go so once you've got it through, what you're going to want to do is to push those corners out. So where's my opening? Here we go. Now I use just a wooden, ske uh, wooden skewer. You can use your scissors if you like, but be very careful because you may go through the fabric, so be very gentle when you use your scissors. Or you can use a chopstick, it's also very good. There's plastic chopsticks that you get with Chinese meals. They work really well too. So you just go and you're just going to work your corners out. Okay. Until they're nice and pointy. Then I'll do that with all four corners. And then once I've done that, I'm going to give it a bit of a press. And I want to press this opening shut. So we just make sure that we get everything so it's all nicely lined up. And then turn our open edges in and give that a press so that it sits nice and flat and put a pin, I usually put a couple of pins along there once I've pressed it and then we'll be ready to top stitch. 
So I thought I'd just show you the blanket now that it's been pressed. And you can see here that we've pressed the opening so that the seams sit nice and flat. And I'll put a couple of pins in there to hold them while I top stitch. Now I'm going to top stitch about an eighth of an inch all the way around the quilt, the blanket. And you can also do a second line of stitching a little way in if you wish. You can also use a fancy stitch, you don't have to do a straight stitch. So I'll go and do that now and uh, then show you the finished result. So there you are, I have top stitched all the way around my blanket and it's held that opening in beautifully, you can see that there. So my blanket is now finished. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and you can also check us out on Facebook and Pinterest. And the written instructions for this baby blanket will be over on elandacraft.com so check out the website for that.